Okay, well, I just wanted to share something. <clears throat> Actually, so many things go on at the Kingsway. It's so exciting. And, you know, I wouldn't change anything in the world other than being at the Kingsway. I love the Kingsway. But I want to share a testimony that I shared at church this morning. And I could share many miracles. But I'm thinking of a young lady um, named Lisa. And she's in a wheelchair. And she got introduced to the Kingsway and the Revival Center through another young girl named Sherry, who Sherry got saved. She's been in and out of the penitentiary on drugs. Her life got radically changed. She started to come to church off and on. It wasn't consistent at first, but she's been starting to come uh, regular thus far and says she's going to continue, and she's interested in going to Bible school. And so she introduced Lisa to us at the Kingsway started to bring her in. And Lisa ended up coming to the Revival Center, I think, two weeks ago, and she got saved. She's in a wheelchair. She's uh, paralyzed. Amen. She got saved, I say, church. Hey, all of heaven's rejoicing. Amen. And so at the Kingsway, after she got saved, and she's been coming since then, I got to talk to Lisa, because I really didn't know much about her. And she shared her story with me, and it was this. Her husband, she was married, and he took care of her. She was in a wheelchair. She was not capable of being taken care of, bathed, and all kinds of things. Her husband took care of her. And she shared how her husband did the same thing every day. And so one day he was getting ready to leave the house to do what he normally does. He gave her a kiss on the cheek and he said, see you later, honey. I'll be back later. And do you know he left there and he never did come back. He ended up committing suicide. And so I just want to say this. I thank God for the Kingsway. I thank God for Dr. Ross and Pastor May that they would even just take us as, as this team under their wing to raise us up so that we could be powerful as a team in unity so that we could be rescuers because what God has given us, we need to go out and do. Um, her husband did not make it, but through all of that, she met Sherry, who ended up introducing, and she surrendered her life to the Lord. For that, I'm forever grateful. And that's just one of so many testimonies as to why time is short. There are people that are not making it. And you and I have Jesus Christ, the hope of glory within us. And we need to start getting bold because I tell you something. At the King's Way, I see the drug dealers getting bold. I see the enemy getting bold in our face. And it's about time that the church begins to rise up and take their place. Because there is a battle and the battle is for souls. Amen. And I say, God... I'm no one special, but I'm special in your eyes. And as far as us and this team go, we'll reach as many as you will allow us to be used for. Amen? Amen. God bless you.